All right. Recording in progress. <laughs> Repeat. Welcome to Metabolic Challenge. I'm Coach Clinton. Today we will be going over some movements to get you up, get you moving, hopefully get you a little hot and sweaty this morning and feeling good. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Today is our A day, so we're going to be doing lower pull, upper push stuff. Uh, we will be having some weights if you want them. If not, that is fine. Everything that we're doing today, you can do without. So let's go ahead and start on our back glute bridge position, digging those heels into the floor. Drive up nice and high. Squeeze those glutes to the top. Let yourself down nice and slow. Let's get 10 of those in. Just drive up. Down nice and slow. Because we're working hamstrings, want to make sure that those glutes and hips are ready for everything we're going to ask those hamstrings to take today. Good. Got about two more. Good. Straighten out your left leg. Bring that right knee towards your chest by grabbing behind your hamstring. Pull to your chest. Kick that leg up straight. And down. Hold it for just a breath or two. So just deep breath in and out. And then release. Let's get five of those on each side. If it feels good and you want to hold it just a little bit longer, that's okay. Once you get your five, go ahead and switch to the other side. Try to drive the sole of your foot towards the sky. Don't point your toe. Okay, you want to keep that foot flat towards the sky if you can. One more week and then it's Thanksgiving week, which is crazy how fast this year is going. Let's go figure four position. So I'm going to cross my right leg over my left leg. I'm going to bring my ankle about halfway between my knee and my hip. I'm just going to go ahead and relax on my back and I'm going to press this hip away by using my hand on my knee and opening things up. You want to make it a little harder, you can step that bottom foot in further. Or if that's still not enough, you could thread the needle and pull this leg up towards your chest in that figure four position. We're just going to do a hold here for a second, stretching out that hip, getting it ready, giving it a chance to wake up from the weekend and release. Good. Switch to the other side. Now this is my tighter side, so I'm just going to get into good position, lock things in, and then try to relax into that stretch and allow that to loosen itself up. Okay, let's do two more breaths. Good. Let's go ahead and turn straight to our side. 90 90 position so i'm going to curl up in this 90 90 position today we're going to rotate both hands up towards the sky so i'm going to rotate both hands up and then allow that back hand to go back close down all the way down let's do five of those open up close down Make sure you look where this back hand is going, okay? So that you know where it's at. Plus it allows you to actually get a little more rotation in. Good, switch sides. Normally I would just turn over but I don't want my back to the camera. 
Okay, so curled up, you know what position I'm in. I'm in a 90-90. This just allows me to maybe actually get my back hand over the top and actually reach. Good. I need about a foot longer in this room so that I can actually reach behind me. Good. Two more. Last one. Yep. And close down. Good. Let's go bird dog position or quad. Okay. So my knees are under my hips, my hands under my shoulders. If you need to do a couple of cat cows to find that neutral position, lock in that core let's go opposite arm opposite leg reach out tuck in reach out let's go five nothing should be moving except for the arm and the leg everything else should be solid that's where the core activation comes from good switch so i should not see your hips wiggling your core shouldn't be lost. Your back shouldn't arch or round anymore once we're locked in. Good, up to your feet. Couple more stretches and then we're on the road. Okay, so here we go. Let's go deep squat to hamstring. So I'm widening out. We're gonna deep squat down, drop those hands, drive those hips up, roll up nice and slow. Good, deep squat, drop and roll up good loosen you up hips and hamstrings speeding things up a little bit now i will demo us through everything here in a second once we're going let's go one out one more Good, last little warm up piece. We're gonna do our hand walk and a little push up to kind of get things warmed up. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold forward. Hand walk out, good plank position. Nice push up here, down and up. Drive those hips up, hand walk back, roll up. Let's do two more of those, down, hand walk out. Nice little push up. Walk those hands back. Last one. Down. And walk out. And walk back. Good. Okay, shake it out. We're going to do neural activation. <clears throat> and then we're going to kick this workout off with a bang. Okay, so neural activation today. Super simple. First go, drop in. Second go, we're going pogos. Bouncing on both toes at the same time. Okay, so here we go, all the way up. Go, go, bounce. And rest, good, all the way up. Go, go. And rest, last one, all the way up. Go, go. And rest, good. Shake it out, grab a quick drink. This is my, or was my grandpa's cup and I inherited it after uh, he passed, but if you can read that, kind of funny. We interrupt this marriage to bring you the football season. My grandpa was a huge football fan. He was a Seahawks fan before the Seahawks were a Seahawks. He, he followed them from the beginning. We went to training camps with him, which was really cool. Pretty awesome to get to do that back in the day. Okay, so what we have, first round, we're going into our density. So our first movement, and with or without weights, I'm going to demo everything. Without weights, I have them here, but I'm going to demo without. 
and then we'll go through the movements. But our first movement, we're going regular RDL. So if I'm holding my weights, they're in my hands. Okay, we're gonna slightly bend those knees, push those hips back, come down nice flat back to about mid shin, come up quick, down slow, up quick, down slow, up quick, okay? We have 10 of those. From there, we're going down to the floor. Now, there's two different ways to do this. If you have weights, you're going single arm bench. Bring those legs up into dead bug position. I like to have my free hand up, or you can put it down on your chest. We're gonna go down, drive it up. Down slow, drive it up. We're going for six on each side, okay? Now, if you don't have weights, we're gonna go into those push-ups, okay? And instead of six on each side, you're just doing six good push-ups. So if you want, I want power on the way up, so go from your knees. You can go slow on the way down, power up as fast as you can, okay? You do not have to come off your hands, though. It's not a plyo, just the speed on the way up, okay? <clears throat> Atomic crunch is our next one. So we're gonna get into a plank position, jump in, jump out for 10, in, out for 10, okay? Last but not least in this round, we are going split squat jumps, okay? So split squat exchanges. Now, if you uh, don't wanna jump, you're just gonna speed lunge. So you're just gonna lunge back, step up, lunge back, okay? If you don't mind jumping, we're here. We jump up, switch to the other side, okay? Just like that, we're going five on each side. Now that's the lower push for today to get kind of the opposite muscles working. So we really wanna explode there. Okay, so 10 RDLs, two leg RDLs, just like so, single arm bench or push up. six on each side for the single arm, six total for the regular push up. atomic crunches, knees in and out in that plank position for 10, and then split squat jumps, five on each side. Okay, we're gonna go for about 15 minutes. We're gonna see how many rounds we can get through. We're shooting for at least four. Okay, so we wanna hit at least four in that 15 minutes. If you go more, that's great. If you don't quite hit four, that's okay. That's why we're working on it, okay? That's where we wanna be, okay? I will run the timer throughout there. If you need to take a break, it is up to you to take a break, okay? So that's up to you <clears throat> when you need water and stuff like that. And you'll see me taking water breaks and Today, because I have it, coffee breaks. All right, let's get this going. The timer ready. Sorry, my computer decided to update this morning. And uh, when it does that, it's really slow. All right, there, got it. So we got about 15 seconds and then we're gonna get started. Now make sure, like I said, take a break when you need it. Grab some water if you need it coffee, whatever you're drinking, but just make sure that your movements are clean. This is a one-way camera, so unfortunately I cannot see you, so just make sure it feels okay. Watch me if you need another uh, view at what movement we're doing. If it still doesn't feel good, take a break. Make sure things are okay, okay? And if it starts bothering you, make sure that we switch things out. You can always send a chat into the chat box. Uh, if you don't want everybody to see it, you can send it to host and it goes up to my phone, okay? So there you go. And then we can make adjustments. Okay, 15 seconds. Get yourself ready. Here we go. Monday morning, starting off with a bang. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So get those good RDLs in for 10. Slow on the way down. Power on the way up. Now, if you're like me and have a hard time counting, use your fingers if you need to. And yes, I've looked back at the tape and yes, I've missed movements, <laughs> especially when you're trying to hold conversation the whole time. Now remember down slow on the bench also and then pressing up 
as quickly as you can. <laughs> if you don't feel like you have the stability with your legs up, put them in that glute bridge position. Okay, make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure you feel like you're putting yourself in the best space. Then you got atomic crunch. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Ours was busy. Lucas had another wrestling tournament, the last of the season. Ended up getting first again. So now he has two firsts and a bronze. Not bad for his second season of wrestling. He's already a better wrestler than I was. Tough little guy. And now Jace wants to wrestle brother all the time. So that's fun too. So I'm sure at some point we're going to have two crazy kids in here beating dad up. So by then I'm probably going to retire. Now, some of you have kids that have grown and are older than seven years old. And I would ask you, how bad did that get as far as them not necessarily beating you up, but you were teaching them a sport, basketball, football, tennis, golf, and you were like, man, I'm so proud of them. They're so good at this and then they beat you and you're like why did I teach them how to be so good at this <sighs> I had that feeling this weekend with Lucas I was showing him something out on the mat <sighs> and a little seven-year-old I showed it to him telling him how to <clears throat> lower his gravity so when he's going to pin somebody, he can hold them down a little better. Stay on your toes, put your chest to chest. And uh, he did it to me and I couldn't get up. I mean, I could have, but I would have had to work really hard. I'm like, man, I shouldn't have showed him that one. Oh. About five minutes in. Make sure you grab a drink when you need it. Now, if this is your first time in class, and I'll come up and check here in a minute. But if this is your first time in this class, this doesn't feel like a metabolic block. If you're putting the effort in, it is, trust me. Might not be a timed block as far as 20 on, 10 off, or something like that, a timed round. But this is what we would call like a density. We're putting a lot on your body in a short amount of time. And then giving you the goal of hitting a number. So we're trying our best to hit that space 
So you're working your body pretty hard. And the movements are designed. So you can rest. So going from legs to arms, to core, to explosive. So you get a chance to break in between is your rest kind of. So it allows your body to push a little harder in those movements. Anybody traveling for the holiday? We are not this time. Uh, we did get our condo here in Idaho. We were supposed to do it the week of my birthday, but they had to switch it. So they switched it to Thanksgiving. So mom, dad, and the boys get to go hang out at a hot tub in the pool for a week, which is nice. So that'll be good. A nice little vacation, staycation. It's only about an hour away. But sometimes that's all you need. All right, we're at seven minutes left. So about two or more rounds left. Now, as you do get tired, or if you get tired, take a rest. Make sure your form is still good. Don't lose form to try to get more rounds in. Make sure form is clean. Especially on the RDLs and the split squats, okay? And with the bet, or yeah, with the bench press and push up or, or push up, just make sure your core is where it needs to be. Okay, so if I can't keep my core tight anymore and my knees start shaking side to side because I'm dropping the weight and picking it up, then I lock my heels into the ground, stabilize that core so I don't end up tweaking my lower back. Okay, so if you feel or you see your knees as I drop the weight, they tip to that side because they're trying to counter. Okay, then make sure you dropped those heels into that glute bridge position, reset your core, and then try again, okay? No low back injuries. They're the worst. Well, they're all bad. No injury is a good injury. <coughs> Hopefully you guys had some decent weather this weekend. We had, um, yesterday was nice. It was like 57 degrees, which is very odd for this time of year. Today it's already 50 degrees out. So we're having a heat wave. So yesterday I got to go work outside and not freeze to death, which is always nice. All right, you got four minutes and 45 seconds left. I'm gonna take a little quick break, come up here, see who's all here. Oh, we got a good, we got Anjan, Villains, Kamud, Mosh, Monica, Pavani, Trisha, Matthew, Kamel, woo! Good morning, everyone. You guys are awesome. My morning warriors. 
and you're probably like, he's just taking a break. You're right. I love this. A good workout. I like this one. For some reason, these densities have been feeling really good. All right, you got three minutes. So if you're <clears throat> starting your next round, you'll definitely finish. If you're like me and you're halfway through a round, you might not finish a full other one, but get through what you can. Two minutes left, two minutes left. And then we'll grab a good rest, go into our next rounds. One forty five. One thirty. One minute. <clears throat> About forty five seconds. I'm going to finish this one, but I won't be able to breathe while I demo the next one. That's okay. Thirty seconds. Grab a rest if you need it. You know, sometimes coffee is just good when you're working out. Other times, not so much. Twelve seconds. All right, five, four. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, we're going to be going into our next round, which is 10 on or 20 on, 10 off. Okay. We have four movements. One is just a double because it's both sides. Okay, but we're going four movements. <clears throat> we have single leg curls, curl to press, and then your leg lifts at different heights, okay? I got the timer set. I'll demo each one. Now, if you do not have something that your feet slide on your floor with, like this slider, okay? If you have hardwood floors, it's easy. Pop a shoe off, your sock should slide on the floor. Or you have, uh, I know people say paper plates, towels, 
whatever you can use to slide on your floor. If you don't have anything, you're just gonna bridge up, walk out, walk back, keeping those glutes up the entire time, okay, for both of these rounds. Those of us doing leg curls, you're going single leg, okay, single leg, leg curls. I come into a hook position, I drive up my hip, I slide out, and I bring it back, okay, 20 seconds. You'll rest for 10, you'll switch to the other side, do 20 seconds on the other side. Okay, from there, we're going curl to press. Both arms, okay, curl to press. So I have my weights, I stand up, I curl, press overhead, bring it down, control. Okay, 20 seconds, curl to press. Then that back down to the floor, we have different height leg lifts. Now I like to put my hands under my glutes, keeps my tailbone from breaking off, okay? So the first one is two inches. So you're gonna hold here, and you're gonna lift off just two inches for 20 seconds, okay? And then the next one, you're going about six inches off the ground, then a foot, and then two foot, okay? Four rounds of everything, here we go. Get yourself ready, I have the timer ready. First is single leg leg curls. You got 10 seconds. Doesn't matter which side you start with. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Try to keep your glutes off the ground the entire time. And rest. Short rest, short time. Other side, three, two, one, go. Rest, curl the press coming up. Now you might notice in the, like my last one, the left leg is a lot harder. So I just try to keep good form. Two, one, go. Try to keep good form as I go. Rest. All right, leg lifts, two inches, three, two, one, go. Keep that core tight, hold those legs just off the ground. And time, good leg curls. Get yourself ready, five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh, slider slipped. Rest. Sometimes that'll happen. And then you go to push and your heel won't slide. Always feels good. Two. One, go. Just for reference too, I ended up with six in the first round. Up from five, rest last week. So I gained a round in a week, not bad. Okay, so if you want to throw yours in the chat, you can. Two, one, go. When we're on our next break, I forgot to remind you. You stuck with me. You got six. Good job. Awesome. Rest. All right, we're going six inches. 
six inches, two, one, go. Make sure your back is nice and solid because you're keeping your core tight. And rest. Round three coming up. Leg curls to start. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Curl the press. So here's your more usual metabolic challenge. Two, one, go. Just bombarding our body with muscle use. Short amount of time. Rest. We're going about a foot this time, about a foot. I don't expect you to measure. Two, one, go. Make sure you keep that core tight. These should be getting easier because we've been doing them. I didn't say easy, I said easier. Rest. One more round, everyone. One more. Then we get another break and then a finish. Quick finish today. Two, one, go. There we go. Finish it out. Rest. Two, one, go. Rest. Ah, no more leg curls. Thank goodness. Curl the press. Five seconds. Two, one, go. Rest, last hold here, going for two foot and go. Which one do you find the hardest? Up higher or down lower? Breathe through and rest. Good job. Take a quick rest, grab some water. We got one more thing coming up. Okay, and then you have a choice on this next one as far as what you wanna do, okay? If you wanna use weight <clears throat> or if you don't, I am not going to today. I'm gonna skip the weight, but what we have, we have one active movement and then we have one rest or uh, like an active rest thing, okay, where it's a core. Okay, so our active movement, 
is a jump press. Now I'm, again, I'm just gonna do body weight with my arms. If you wanna use your weight, you can just be careful. Don't drop the weights back down on your shoulder, control them, okay? So on the way out, arms are down, you come out into a jump squat position. Okay, as I come together, I press those arms up, okay? Now with body weight, I'm just squeezing, keeping things tight, okay? If you guys want weight, make sure you're keeping that chest and core tight as you jump up so you don't lose control of those weights. And like I said, bring them down controlled, okay? For those of you that don't know, I made my shoulder hurt really bad last week uh, over the weekend, and it's still just a little clicky. I'm just letting it heal up a little bit and a little careful with the explosive overhead stuff. Okay, and then your core movement for this one, super simple. We're just coming into a plank position for 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off of both of these movements. Okay, so 10 on, 10 off. The plank hold is, the, is your recovery. Okay, so 10 on, 10 off, two movements. We're going eight rounds, okay, or eight total. So uh, four a piece, okay? Get yourself ready, 10 seconds to start. Jump squat or jump press first. Remember, wide at the bottom. Three, two, one, go. Rest, plank position, get yourself ready. If you wanna start early, you can. I'll tell you when to rest. Three, two, one, go. Keep that core tight. Don't do a relaxed plank. Rest, it's only 10 seconds. Get yourself ready for your jump squat, round two. Two, one, go. Rest, get ready for your plank. You can start early if you want. Two, one, go. Lock everything in. And rest. Up on those feet. Floor starting to squeak. Three, two, one, go. Press. Plank. Three, two, one, go. Rest. <clears throat> Last round. Three, two, one, go. Rest. All right, three, two, one. Go. And time. All right, come up to your feet. Interlace those fingers, reach up to the sky. Look through those fingers if you want, nice deep breath. Again. Widen those feet out to about uh, elbow width if your arms are out to the side. Bring those hands straight down the middle. Push those hips back as you come down forward. Good job today, everyone. Nice work. Getting stronger every time. Let's go over to the right side. Hopefully you're feeling a difference. I know I am. 
feels good to get your workout in. Go ahead and take it over to the other side. You guys are doing awesome. I mean, our class is staying good. Our average is good. After Thanksgiving, we have a few weeks until Christmas. We can always invite friends, get a little holiday workout in. Going to be doing some fun stuff during the holidays. Go ahead and come to the center. Squeeze those glutes. Roll up nice and slow. Your coach always likes to do some fun things during the holidays. Let's go ahead and cross our right over our left. Both feet pointed forward. Now, if you need to, you might need to put your hand on something. Okay, now with my right leg in front, reaching the right palm up to the sky, I'm gonna press, not just lean over with my upper body, but I'm gonna press my hip to the side and try to make a little bit of a C shape. This is where if you need to, you can hang on to something over here. Okay, pushing that hip over. Good, come back to center, cross the other way, other leg over the top. Switch your top hand, press over. Now one side's gonna be tighter. This is as far as I can go on this side. That's how tight this hip and IT band are. Now, your coach, being your coach, if I saw you doing this and that's how tight it was, I would make you foam roll that IT band. So guess what? That's what I'm gonna do later today. So I'll foam roll. Gotta get better every day. Go ahead and come back to center. Let's go one deep squat down. So I'm going to deep squat down into the center. Open up those hips. Drop those hands to the floor. Drive those hips up one last time. Now from here, take a deep breath. You can release those hands, sweep the toes off. Take a deep breath all the way up to the top. All the way up. And release. Good job today, everyone. Nice work. Woo! Better every day, sweatier every day. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a few minutes back. You guys are free to go. Thanks for coming. As always, invite a friend if you want to. Just send them the link for this class. Okay, just send them the link and put on their user Intel email to sign up. Even if they don't, no big deal. The more, the merrier. We love having new people. I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday. We'll be doing some more fun stuff. Okay, as always, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please email or IM me at clintx.carlson at intel. I'd love to hear from you. love to hear how the workouts are going, all that good stuff, okay? So please don't be a stranger. Chat with me anytime you want. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again. I appreciate you. Keep working hard. Have a great rest of your day. Way to kick off Monday. Love it. See you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.